Ohio at the gathering at the Gars. And uh, they do some reenactments from like the 17 and 1800s. And uh, basically this, where we're standing right now, is where Matt Anthony Wayne and the Native Americans signed a peace agreement. So we're gonna be just walking through and looking at all the different stuff here at the gathering of the Gars. But before we head off, don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, ring that notification, ring that bell. notification bell. So all the way through here, we have different uh, crafts going on from the air, and they're all camping out just like from their era. And there's Margie. like a Native American over here talking about his encampment. Skins, kind of buckskins. all over the place dressed for the air that they're from so basically it would be representing 1700s and 1800s hi yeah there should be an information booth somewhere that that you can get registered. Oh my gosh, I love that table. place to start once we get down here with the Reuben Revolutionary Era from 1775 to 1783. Jesse. Look, it's Jesse. What are you doing? Huh? Oh, Jesse from Slamology. <laughs> the brass one. Some of these are um, anti personnel. This is a canister that held both the cannonball and the, the black powder. So it was just all one, like a, a modern bullet type thing. This is called Grape Shot. All of this would have. Um, disappeared and they it was filled with one inch balls um, this is the piece before you put it around this is called canister shot and it would have been filled with whatever they could find any kind of shrapnel what we have done really? just for demonstration purposes we filled it with little balls okay and uh, so you can see what how that would have been packed in there mm -hmm. okay 
These are actual cannonballs. These are six pounders. These are these three are what we call bar shot, and they would have been fired mainly at naval vessels because they would go in like this. When they're fired, they would separate, and it would take down sails and masts and personnel. Uh, this is my personal favorite. This is a whirly gig type thing, and that would do a lot of damage to whatever it was fired at. But all of this could have been fired out of that brass cannon. Okay. And we are raffling off the, uh, it's a 36 caliber flintlock rifle and a 45 caliber pistol and the uh, ammo bag. Um, and they're all, they're all working models. They're reproductions, but they all are operational. So these would be the cannons that she was talking about. The brass one is the one that the projectiles would be fired out of. I think you'll like it. Nothing, nothing, um, nothing's going to be down. We do three shots. It's going to come out on the third one. On the third one. Okay. <laughs> and we're heading into the Civil War era. Yeah, that was just a sec. And then I went down to the see what they have over here. Oh, they're learning how to write with a, with a quill. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. So we got some learning how to write with an ink and quill, and some learning how to sew. <laughs> got a couple boys juggling. We got colonial area, which would have been before the revolutionary. <laughs> So that was uh, Friendship Soap, Goat's Milk, and uh, they're on Etsy, so if it's something you want to track out, we decided to buy a bar, because Haley's got some dried skin on her face a lot of times, and we want to try it and see if it'll actually work out. We're going into the French and Indian air. So when we've decided to stop and look at some beadwork, those look like aren't those it looks like some kind of whistle and these are five dollars each tough crowd oh this one's a that's pretty neat look at the arrowhead wow what about this Oh, that, is that a sea turtle? That's what it looks like. It does look like a sea turtle, doesn't it? Yeah. We probably should get that. <laughs> a couple of them. I think I but, like this one better. Yeah. Shall I get it? Are we talking about getting it for I think we are? Yeah. You want me to take it down to her when I go? Maybe. Yeah. I, th I think it's a sea turtle. Sure. Do you think that's what it's supposed to be? I wonder how I have to ask to get it off, or... I don't know. It's not going to ask. Maybe they have one over there already off. They got bear claws going on here, too. Going to get hair or something. And we'll look across real quick. Some of the other stuff they have. They got different kind of furs. Some, uh... Some plates. Uh, Friendship Indiana is the uh, NMLRA shoes. Um, it's in June and September, second Tuesday weekend. I'm 
demonstrating sgraffito ware pottery, and that would have been commonly used during the 1700s. And it is made with a terracotta clay, and when that gets what they call leather hard, it's then coated with another color clay, usually yellow or white. And before it dries completely or gets hard, then you can carve a design into it. And that's what I'm demonstrating today. And once that dries, um, a copper wash would be added anywhere you wanted a little bit of color. And then right. it would be fired and glazed. Okay. Okay. So, and you've done all these here? Yes. Um, the stoneware... During colonial time period, the stoneware would have been from New York because okay. that's where they mined stoneware clay. Okay. Um, it wasn't found elsewhere till later. Right. Um, the yellowware would all be considered Pennsylvania Dutch through, from Pennsylvania. The uh, agateware would also have been New York because that is a stoneware. It's just two different kinds of clay. And the multicolored dishes. <laughs> that's also called slipware, and that is just different colored clay slip poured in. Right. And you wiggle it around till it makes a design, and then that's, that's the way you get that. Oh, wow. Um, any other questions you would have? No, I think that'll do it. Okay. But thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. So we're just walking through, and uh, we talked to a very interesting man back there who shares his interest in history as mine and we talked a lot about Native American history and early American history and you can see a lot of the people that are dressed during the time periods and they're out here to sell different stuff over here oh, we got Native man uh is a Native American. I do have CDs available because you need to take home with me. show you what you have available. That's all we got before, CD. It's just here. I like that. I have all the mother ones that have um, playing a, uh, I don't know what you would call that. What do you call that, Margie? Like a pipe? Pipe? Is that what? The red thing supposed to be. Looks like it. So over here we have some baskets. And she's back there making a chair. Do you mind if I come and watch? Is that okay? No, that's fine. Are you just putting like a new seat? What I'm doing is, is finishing up the seat. This is a 12 sweet seat. It's done in ash. Um, the problem with the ash is it has a little bit of green to it, so sometimes it doesn't want really to move back and forth. So I found a piece that is not going to work here. It's separating on me. And it's just one of those little things to annoy you. But yeah, you'll fill in. You start out with a chair. If it's an odd shape, you fill in the square first. And then you go back and do the sides. And that's where I'm at now. Okay. How long does it take you? Um, I started this this morning. I've oh. unwoven it a couple times because when I'm talking, I don't pay attention to my pattern. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this, this type seat goes fairly quickly. And then later this afternoon, I have a hand cape, a hand cape piece I will start. They're both client pieces. And you use the little tools to get into tight places and make, maneuver it the way you need to, to get it where it needs to go. And this is not cooperative. Because <laughs> it's splitting again. Oh, that's 
beautiful. Thank you. You say you started this this morning and you're almost done already? Yeah. Yeah. I do all different types of seat weaving. This one probably goes the one that is the most labor intensive is the cane. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And that's, I'll start a little piece. Holy cannoli. Look at all that. I'll start this little chair this afternoon. This afternoon. Oh wow. So that'll be this, this one right here? Yeah, it'll be the plain cane. Oh mm -hmm. wow. It's amazing. Thank you. It was something that they would have bartered for or they would have done it themselves mm -hmm. because it was a necessity. Right. Well, that's quite beautiful. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Are you going to be here tomorrow too doing another yeah. one? All right, we're going to walk into Gary's Gunsmith Shop. Leathers and muzzle loading accessories. So they got lots of furs. Some nice handcrafted bags. Oh, that's pretty. Moccasins. <laughs> Buckskin outfits. Oh, just spin your arm in a circle, it gets Shirts. More bags. Hey, are they, do they have packs? <clears throat> no. Hair accessories. Um, they're big enough to make some of those small. Just different candles from there. Yeah, I know. I don't know what it was. Ball and cup toy. Yeah. There's yo-yos. Sell it because it doesn't work. Cool. With those old scissors. Mm -hmm. So, this is Sally's Primitives. They got different kinds of toys out here as well beads. More beads. Bead necklaces with different kinds of uh, stuff like frogs and turtles and arrowheads, crosses. Over here we got the blacksmith. Oh, I didn't realize we'd already walked all the way around. 
Wait, let's go over here and watch this. Huh? Let's go over here and watch it. friend Matt so from work he has an area where he actually takes up sit in and everything like that and uh, it's called native designs and uh, he carves about sit in and all kinds of stone I was trying to find her something and I don't know but I think she'll like that it's pretty all right so that was the gathering at the garst uh here in greenville ohio and uh we really enjoyed what we've seen it's like actually stepping back in time and seeing how people live back during those those days. But uh, as for that, that's the end of our video. Uh, if you liked, uh, leave us a comment. So as for that, see you, see you on the next adventure.